Hello, everybody. My name is Majid Asadi from the Department of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging and Tronostic at Bush University. It's great pleasure to share with you our experience and uh, speak about FAB, one of the most exciting topic in nuclear medicine. And also, I'd like to thank organizing committee to get me this opportunity to speak here. What I'm going to talk, uh, first go over the current oncological context of FAB, then uh, talk about imaging, especially compared to uh, current standard of care, FTG pet CV, then uh, speak about therapeutic issues, and finally present some challenges and some in creative future steps. Normal fibroblasts are the most common cell types in the extracellular matrix and are responsible for synthesis of collagens and fibrillar proteins. Under normal condition, uh, they maintain tissue hemostasis and contribute to proper cell communication and function. Uh, they can be activated from diverse set of uh, uh, factors secreted by immune or cancer cells. Also, they could be activated from uh, growth factors and such as TGF beta, and also from some uh, interleukins, metalloproteinase, reactive oxygen specimen, ROS. And under uh, the ones they activated, uh, they undergo phenotype switch and became the cancer associated fibroblast. Also, commonly used markers from activated CAFs, such as the SMA, FSP, and FAB, and rarely used markers such as the uh, tennessine, periostine, palladine, and so on. And also some uh, negative markers in this regard. It means that being of them is against the CAF, such as cytocratine and CD31. The CAFs can originate it from, uh, from different uh, sources like resident tissue fibroblast, uh, bone marrow, zonchomal stem cells, hematopoietic stem cells, epithelial and endothelial cells, vascular smooth muscles, cells, and pericytes. And they have different functions, uh, such as tumor cell growth and proliferations, invasion and metastasis, angiogenesis, chemoresistance, also regulate metabolic reprogramming of tumor microenvironments. There is complex relation between uh, calves with immune and cancer cells via different and uh, signaling pathways, such as autocrine, procrine, or even direct actions uh, result to immunoescape and leads to progression and metastasis. Uh, normal fibroblasts are eucubatous in the body and resting fibroblasts have no or very slight fab expression, like for example, uh, breast and uterine, uh, uterus, and also adipose tissue present very few fab expression. There are several in vitro evidence, uh, which could be useful for uh, future in vivo fact studies. Uh, for example, uh, showed that breast and colorectal, prostate, stomach, pancreas cancer, and also SCC, ovarian, and urethral cancer display uh, moderate to high uh, FAP expression, while some cancer, especially lymphoma, low, very uh, low or no expression of FAP. Let's take a look at some uh, microscopic evaluation. Uh, for example, in this slide in colorectal uh, in vitro analysis, no fab in brown colors means the, there is the fab in this slide. No fab means no uh, stromal staining. Fab one plus means uh, one to 10% of stromal staining. Fab two plus means 11 up to 50% of stromal staining. And also fab three plus means uh, 71 up to 100 percent the stromal staining. Uh, there has uh, been the great interest or uh, anti calf therapeutics, which prominently focus on uh, FAP. For example, immunotherapy like vaccines, inhibitors, antibodies, and also FAP dipeptidase activities in this regard. With this background, 
Let's turn to the imaging. Uh, the evolving of fab ligands, uh, radio labelings uh, into clinical translation was started with derivatives FAB0204 and FAB targeting could be used by peptide for like FAB2286 or a small molecule inhibitors like Dota S FAP. And also other tracers that used, for example, FAB46 for tronostic use and FAB334 for technetium and rhenium 188 and FAB74 for imaging with uh, fluor, CU, and gallium. One of the advantage of uh, FAB PET CD is rapid tumoral uptake in uh, with fast background washout, result to low expression, low uh, radiation burden to the patients, uh, almost half the radiation exposure to the patient when compared to FTG PET CD. One more advantage of uh, FAP is independent of FAP PET CD uh, with uh, fasting or uh, a specific dietary preparation. For example, this case presented to our department with uncontrolled diabetic hyperglycemia. She underwent FAP PET CD with FAP uh, 46 per CD, which showed the intense uptake in a VPO surgical built line with myoma in the uterus. Uh, there is a big question here with this, with this exciting issue about the FAP PET CD. What, which one is burn? FTG or current standard care? Uh, FAP PET CD or current standard care FTG? There are very few studies um, to assess the head to head intra individual comparison of two tracers in terms of primary lesion, distant metastasis nodal staging, and even in non-oncological diseases, hopefully translate to clinical setting, both in cancer and non-cancerous conditions. One of the good studies uh, done by Trey Blazer Group from Heidelberg, they assessed the uh, FAP uh, with FAT04 PET-CD, in 80 cases with 28 different types of cancers, they showed that no significant difference in SUV between the primary and metastasis cases. And they showed that highest uptake was seen in the cancers such as sarcoma, salivary, esophagus, cholangiocarcinoma, breast, and lung. The lowest uptake means lower than uh, six, SUV six was in RCC, insulinoma, differentiated thyroid cancer, prochromocytonoma, adenoitis cancer and also gastric cancer. The uptake in the HCC, cervical cancer, medullary and net, anal and colorectal was intermediate, means between six and 12. There's a couple of uh, wonderful uh, studies from China. For example, Chen et al. Uh, performed the, the comparison in the two tracers in 75 patients with 12 type of cancers. 54 newly cases and 21 with recurrence. They showed the higher sensitivity for PET and also higher uh, upstaging when compared the FAPI with uh, FTG PET CD. Let's go in, uh, into more details in, in terms of lymph node and bone and visceral analysis. Uh, they showed the higher sensitivity for uh, the, uh, detection in the uh, both lymph node and bone visceral for FAP as compared to FTG. While there was insignificant higher specificity for FTG as compared to FAP, as uh, now the, the FAP expressed in the stroma now, instead of the tumor. So this is maybe uh, could be due to this, this result that specificity is higher, uh, but not significant for FTG as compared to FAP. In semi-quantitative analysis, they showed that the, uh, in all tumors, except for uh, glioma, the, uh, they show better and higher the SUV for FAP, uh, uh, for the FAP study as compared to FTG. Even in glioma, the tumor to background ratio were, uh, was significantly higher for 
uh, FAF as compared to FTG. Another interesting report was done by Lan et al. in uh, 123 patient, in uh, 58 patient with nodal lesions and 43 with distant metastasis. And also they included eight patient with hematological diseases, no plus, and also they recruited uh, 52 patients with non-oncological or benign tumors. They showed, except for multiple myeloma and lymphoma, that uh, uh, that uh, gallium pentaxifor could be good alternative for and complement for FTG. All the all the uh, cancerous lesions show better detection rate on FAP pet CD as compared to FTG. And also the comparison between two tracers in terms of non-oncological and benign tumors was comparative. Another interesting report that recently was published European Journal of Nuclear Medicine in 71 patients, in 41 patients with primary tumors and 43 with metastatic lesion, they showed that the uh, almost all background normal tissue and organs show lower background optic as uh, in, on FAP as compared to FTG, which may result to equal or uh, higher tumor to background ratio for FAP as compared to FTG PET CT. Let's go to the uh, some tumors with limical limited application of FTG and diagnostic value of TG. For example, in hepatocellular carcinoma, the presented case show a uh, well-defined lesion in the right lobe of the liver with no uptake on the uh, FTG PET CD, while he showed the clear-cut lesion in the, on the uh, FAP PET CD. Another problem in PET CD is mucinous adenocarcinoma. For example, in this case, there was huge, numerous uh, lesions with uh, high uptake in the abdomen on FAP, while very few lesions in the FTG. And also another problem uh, with limited application of FTG, for example, in cases of gas rig signet wing cell carcinoma, there is the high intense uptake in the gas rig wall on FAP PET CD, while no uptake in the FTG PET CD. And next case with colon cancer will live in meds. There are several lesions with high intake on fat CD while low uptake and few lesions in the uh, for the same patient on FTG PET CD. The another uh, superiority of FAP as compared to FTG is the uh, tumor that in the brain and head and neck, and it could be. Uh, resulted to better tumor delineation that could be very wonderful for better ready therapy planning. For example, in this case, there is clear cut tumor in the pituitary uh, region. As pointed out in the first section of my talk, there are some uh, tumors with uh, low expression or no expression like lymphoma in their uh, uh, tumors. Like, for example, in this uh, case, there is an intense uptake on FTG PET in different regions, head and neck, chest, and abdomen and pelvic regions, while no very few uptake with low uh, uptake in this uh, FTG in the FAP PET CD. And the physiological uptake of the uterus may limit the diagnostic value of uh, FAP in the gynecological diseases and uh, age and fibroma and also or fibro tissue and uh, uh, uterus volume uh, are correlated with the uh, uptake of FAP and it could be problematic for especially for pre perimenopausal women. Like this case, there is a clear cut uptake in the cervix on FTG while the same region on the FAP PET CD was hidden or covered by the normal and physiological optic in the uterus on uh, FAP-PET-CD. It seems that false positive and fibroid, fibroid 
process on FAP uh, is inevitable and the bright side of this issue that it could be useful for some non-oncological diseases like the wound healing, arthritis, arteriosclerotic plaques, and uh, other inflammatory processes. For example, in this presented slide and figure, there is good correlation between number of uh, cardiovascular uh, risk factors and, and also metabolic disease with cardiac uptake on PET-CD. And also there is a uh, dilemma for uh, differentiation of active or non-active fibrate uh, process in cases with interstitial lung disease with current radiological modality that could be fab pet CD would be good choice and made potential modality to uh, reassessment and monitoring of patient with uh, interstitial lung disease. Let's recap the, my main point in terms of imaging. Till now, fat may be equal or even superior to over FTG many setting, and also gallium fat, PET CD serve as a promising alternative to, gallium, to FTG PET for challenging cancer subtypes such as tumors in brain, head and neck regions. Of course, we need more studies to specify clinical indication in oncological and non-oncological setting. Let's turn to turn therapy and therapeutic issue. Uh, very few reports uh, uh, published on therapy of using different therapeutic agents. For example, uh, Professor Baum et al. published uh, the Q, uh, published one of them in use uh, the lutetium fat. 2268 in 11 patients with advanced adenocarcinoma of pancreas, breast, and rectum, and ovary. And also uh, another one used the uh, UTM90 FAPI46 in nine patients with metastatics of tissue or bone sarcoma and pancreatic cancer. And all group uh, performed the study, lutetium, used lutetium FAP. Uh, 46 in 18 patients with different type of cancers. Uh, the old uh, reports concluded that the feasibility and low toxicity and safety of these uh, different tracers in the even in the late stage uh, patients. As expected in the phase one trial, they, they uh, considered the very initial sign of the vacancy also, it should keep in mind that patients with the latest stage of their, their disease, uh, they, uh, there is not good uh, uh, patient and studies for assessing the efficacy, which should be uh, assessed in the phase two or three in this regard. Let's take a look at few treated cases with different theranoustic agents. For example, this case, with uh, metastatic breast cancer treated with uh, <clears throat> lutetium FAPI 2286. Uh, although she showed some uh, regression or partial response, especially in uh, skeletal uh, lesions, but finally progress. The next case with spindle cell sarcoma uh, also show some uh, Partial metabolic response in the lesion in the lower chest the, in the, uh, when compared to the FTG PET CD before and after therapy. Our group included the uh, 18 patients with different types of cancers. And after short follow up, two of our patients show a stable and six show progressive disease, and also 16 patients still alive, and two patients with pancreas and cancer have died. For example, this case underwent two types of PET, uh, FAPI and uh, FTG. And uh, he showed uh, some partial response in the um, lymph node in the pelvis region. And next case, a patient with anaplastic thyroid cancer as one as a deadly cancer, although he showed some uh, response when in, in the second cycle of lutetium therapy 46, but finally progress. 
According to the Zimitri and by distribution, there was a slight uptick in the <clears throat> normal organal tissue, indicating the safety and similar to other common tronostic agent uh, in nuclear medicine like lutetium PSMA, lutetium lutetate. Uh, I like to summarize our challenges that uh, point out during my presentation. Uh, for example, we have two main original and functional heterogeneity of calves. Calf subtype with distinct phenotypes and immune function derived from different cellular sources. We are facing two very aggressive cancers, mostly with very low survival rate, like pancreas, cholangiocarcinoma, and lung cancers. In these deadly cancers, there are very dynamic and complex processes which develop spatial and temporal heterogeneity without failure to see durable clinical response. Different number of distribution of FAB and non-FAB expression CAFs markers may result in various treatment response, which needs to see holistic approach and strategy when faced to these uh, very aggressive tumors. Let's uh, uh, turn to the uh, some, it leads me to my next uh, slide on some imperative uh, future step that should be addressed in this regard. For example, we should improve fab products Maybe nanotechnology could be a good choice. And uh, we may need to consider the intense of the nuclear treatment like uh, uh, in, in comparison with uh, current ones, shorter interval or higher amount of activity. We should assess the efficacy and safety in combination and or in sequence to other therapy like chemotherapy or immunotherapy in patient with inflamed phenotype tumors due to Immuno escape calves, as already mentioned in first section, and we should main uh, we should uh, consider the more inclusion index in addition to pure uptake or SUV. It's not bad to consider the radiomics analysis based on PET CD, and it's not bad to assess the tandem and also alpha and beta cocktails, and also uh, assess the earlier disease stages and homogeneous population. And finally, we should uh, consider the tronustic class center instead of pure tronustics. I hope this talk provided you an outline of uh, FAP current uh, tronustic context. Uh, this talk may bring uh, up some questions. Please feel free and present your questions. Thank you for your kind attention.